So it looks like we finally found out when the next trailer for Transformers Rise of the Beasts is going to be surfacing. We had some rumors over the past couple weeks that the Super Bowl was going to be having some kind of ad spot in their very expensive time slots during the Super Bowl, like we always know. And it looks like it has been confirmed today. Porsche, the car company, did a tweet today confirming that there will be a Transformers Rise of the Beast Super Bowl trailer just before the kickoff. For people that aren't aware, uh, the Super Bowl is this weekend, Super Bowl Sunday. It's going to be February 12th, 2023, and kickoff happens at 6.30 Eastern Standard Time. So if it happens before kickoff, you probably want to tune in at least probably a half hour before, just in case to make sure that you catch this. Now, the NFL has had a good relationship with Hasbro this past year. They did that whole Rise of the Beast Nickmas kind of event during Christmas where we got to see all these animation models of Rise of the Beast on Nickelodeon's NFL game, the Nick Miss. So that was pretty cool. And now we got a big Super Bowl ad coming. Keep in mind the last time that Hasbro did a Transformers Super Bowl trailer ad was back in 2017 for Transformers The Last Night. And they paid $5 million for 30 seconds for The Last Night. Uh... That made sense because the last night would be coming out just a couple months after that in June. It worked out, I would imagine so. In 2018, they didn't do that with the Bumblebee movie. Uh, the Bumblebee movie was happening in December of 2018, a huge gap from that February Super Bowl that was happening in 2018. So I guess they just didn't want to shell out the money for that. There was a different kind of way they were going to advertise Bumblebee. It was going to be a smaller movie. I know that by the time winter came around in 2018, there was Bumblebee ads everywhere in downtown Montreal. There was animated signs, billboards. It was all over the place. It was in the streets and the subways. I'll even post a clip here of uh, something that I recorded on Instagram of like an animated Bumblebee poster that was in the subway and stuff. They were all over the place. So at least they did a lot of advertising during the month of December going into the Bumblebee movie, but they didn't do anything for the Super Bowl at the time. Now, from what I've read here, it's going to cost seven million dollars for a 30 second ad for the super bowl in 2023 here in february uh even inflation i guess affects even super bowl ads because in 2017 it was five million now we're up to seven million oh man um now again it's going to be before 6 30 so keep that in mind but what's really interesting about this more than anything else is the fact that it's Porsche that's breaking the news. Because I'm telling you, man, it's really funny. Like, me and Aaron Archer, we did a segment on the Toy Armada. And there was this great clip where we talked about how, you know, Porsche was just not game. You know, in 2001, uh, Porsche wanted nothing to do with the Transformer brand at all. But I guess because... Rise of the Beasts, you know, Mirage is going to be a Porsche 964 and Wheeljack's going to be that Volkswagen van. So off the bat, two out of the five Autobots are right away part of that Porsche Volks conglomerate. Looks like they are playing game now. And I mean, it's it's quite surprising considering how they were just adamant that they were not going to be doing anything. Actually, I'm going to just post the clip right now from the Toy Armada with Aaron Archer right here. Yeah. So we had... I think I may have, we talked about it on your your podcast that we had a guy that spoke German and we definitely had a Bumblebee. So we had the Porsche model made and then we had Bumblebee drawings done. Yeah, we have the drawings of Bumblebee, yeah. Those were both done at the same time. I don't I can't tell you which which is the chicken or the egg. But um we didn't I don't believe the Bumblebee model got built but um we had the guy who was from germany spoke german call eine minute eine minute Ach, das wagenphone ist eine nuisancephone and famously both volkswagen and porsche um were like don't call us back where we don't <laughs> we don't have any interest in your your toys, your war, your, your war, 
your warring robot toys or something. Fascinating. Um, I think it, at, at the time... I didn't realize it was that blunt. It was very blunt. It was German blunt. It was, <laughs> it was like, do not call us back. We have no interest in your your crap you've already taken advantage of us for years you know whatever the german for screw off is uh, and that was that we were like okay sir i think uh, it, we were like right after that call we were like okay we are never doing a porsche we are never doing a volkswagen um we'll see if any of the other companies maybe have interest but we just didn't even look after that for a long time so as you could see, like they were not interested at all, at all. But I mean, if you want to listen to that that whole segment, we were talking about Transformers alternators at the time and uh, how they were trying to work that out. Check that out on the Toy Armada with Aaron Archer. Nice big uh, segment there about car licensing and everything. But clearly, you know, and now Porsches, now Porsches back in the game with Transformers. I guess they saw, you know, keep in mind, like when Porsche wanted nothing to do with Transformers, that was 2001, 2003, 2004. You know, then the Michael Bay movies came in 2007, and look what that did for, for American cars and that kind of walking advertisement. So I'm pretty sure they've changed their tune in the 20 years since then, since 2001 when they changed their mind. Imagine it's already been 20 years. Wow. Wow. But yeah, so keep in mind, guys, again, this Super Bowl Sunday, February 12th, 6.30 Eastern Standard Time before the kickoff at 6.30 Eastern Standard Time. We will be getting some kind of trailer, hopefully with brand new footage. And then you could watch uh, the Kansas City Chiefs go up against the Philadelphia Eagles and uh, see who wins the Super Bowl. I know that uh, Aaron Archer is a Bengals Cincinnati guy and I'm a 49ers guy, so we got no stake in the game. But uh, either way, let me know what you think, guys. Hopefully um, it'll be some new footage and we'll all get excited about this and Again, hopefully uh, we'll learn more about this in the future. And then uh, on Monday, uh, we'll cover it deep down and break down everything if there is some new footage and stuff. Let me know what you think, guys. Hype stuff. And uh, I'll see you on the Transformer Slag podcast live stream Saturday night tomorrow.